All right, so what I got here is some more electronics, clearance stuff. Um, this is a USB cable adapter kit. Now, this is a bit old school. You're not going to have a USB-C or an Apple connector in here. At least not yet. Uh, it's 2017. There's the UPC. 2017. These are like three bucks on 2018. At least they don't do that yet. The converter. These are more for all those random USB things that used to exist. Like, here's what your printer used to use. Maybe still does. Here's the old USB USB Mini B. Some things still use that. This is US Micro. Now, hold on. We can't. See, this is the normal Micro. I don't know what this Micro is. I don't recall anything ever using that. Um, well, let's just rip this open. Some of these, you know, some of even the weirder ones aren't even in here. Like old, this is like really old school. Because old cameras originally used to have all these weird USBs. Let's just pull all these out. Put them in the bag. I probably wouldn't suggest this for charging. There's a bag. So this is common, more recent common. You know what that is. I mean, you may have seen that. This is micro USB. This is going to be on cell phones and stuff before micro, before USB-C started becoming popular. And this one, I'm not even sure. This had They're calling this micro USB also. This might have been on cameras and stuff. I have not seen this connector, I don't think. This would be a printer. Uh, but, you know, this is th this is going to be, you know, it extends out and does this kind of thing. This is a bit generic. They used to, these used to be a very common thing. And then what they would do is they stick a, their, their product name, like your, like this usually would say on. I'm surprised it doesn't have this blue thing and then stuck on here saying on. Because this was generic. This was a generic thing. Everybody would have this, and then they would stick their name here. And then have all these stupid connectors. So you would go, you know... This is more like a travel kit. I don't know if it says that. Adapter kit, travel kit. So you're saying... Micro USB, Mini B, Micro USB. I mean, what? USB BB. It's kind of useless for most people. But if you have some old devices, there's even one of these that's like this and, and squished more, rounder. I don't know what that one is. I'm surprised that this kit doesn't have it. Oh, this kit's pretty useless to most people. This is going to be temporary. Like if you got to go a laptop to a printer, you'd be using this thing. You don't want to be putting two amps over this line. I mean, you probably could. I wouldn't suggest it. And most of these adapters are all made, but only one amp or half amp was the max. Actually, these things are, are back when half amp was the max coming over USB. Half amp is your standard default amperage. That's the, the um, it's the agree, agreeable uh, amperage for normal USB 2.0 is uh, 0.5 amp. I believe 2.0, 3.0 might be quite a bit higher than that, 2.4 or higher. But, yeah. So, this will be useless to most people. But mostly, I would use it for this. Especially with those Arduino Nanos. The Nano uses that instead of Micro. I have no clue.
would have been nice if it had an extension cable. So yeah, that's it. It was three bucks. For limited storage, it does this. Well, there you go. Where's the UPC again? There it is, crossed out. You better not pout. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Back Santa Claus is coming to town. You know Dasher and Prancer and Comet and Cubit. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very, very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it goes. One most foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? All the other reindeer loved him, used to laugh and shout, we